Hi guys, good evening. It's another video about Alcalix app. Before we start, I'd like to tell you again why we have this project. It's not because of the app, right? It's because of we, we like to learn how to program in Python and I'm a dabbler at best, right? It's not my job, but I wanna learn. And if you wanna learn with me, fine, then we have these videos. Now, I have also a tutor at this point. On Discord, you'll find a drunken alcoholic, right? A user who has already made four videos for you. So if you think, oh, that's cool, I'd like to invest some time because you have ambitions in the future, maybe for a job, to apply for a job and learn, you can do so in these days on your own with the internet. It's all there, it's all available. You used to buy books in shops or libraries and then get to learn code. But these days, right, there are 62 videos already about how to create the app, the Arclix app, without really knowing where we want to go. We just knew we want to learn about Python and GTK and, and right? At some point in time, we decided then ideas, what ifs, it's enough. What if we moved? Do something different, a user interface called Glade, and use those. And then we have here at the bottom, we can see that we have interesting videos. One out of four, but this is 62 videos, just about Linux GTK. Guess what? I've seen them all this weekend, right? So you pick out what you need for the moment, but Keep anyway, bookmark things, bookmark things that you say, uh, if I got time, I'll binge watch them. Or I look through them and pick what I need, cherry picking. So here as well, this is a drunken alcoholic. This is his logo and that's where the name comes from, right? 13 subscribers, let's go for more. There are already four videos and it's actually about the Arclex app. You can see the, the resemblance. So what I will do, since this is primary, primarily a educational app, not as such a, well, it's a useful app, it is, but it's the intention is actually to just try and learn. So I'll incorporate his tips in the current version, which means that we also well, will be more alike. You will recognize things that are from his videos that will come in my code and you'll recognize things and will get a uniform kind of look for these, uh, this project. So the Arclex app, Glade, is a, the same app with a different way of showing things with a user interface, which means for me, after developing the Arclex Calamaris tool, well, others developed them, of course, for me, and then I dug into the code. The Arclex Tweak tool, the Arclex Logout, uh, what else do we have? The Arclex Desktop Trasher, right? If you look at all these apps, this is a different way of doing things. It's not coding a user, a graphical user interface. It is actually designing inside Glade, which makes things complex, difficult, new for me, as in, brand new for me, which feels that I'm a noob again. And that's good, and we learn. So that's what we're gonna do with this video, four minutes, <laughs> talking about what the status is now, where you can find stuff, and this is what we'll get. Now, one of the things he provided me, and so can you, which leads us to something interesting. If you say, Eric is, is, is great, but he made a typo, it did this, it did that. And I've got another idea. I'll, I'll give him some code I work together with. You make an account on github.com. You make a fork of a certain GitHub project. And you say he's now working on app Glade dev. I see a typo, I see this, I see that. And you make a pull request here. And Yesterday, Drunk Alcoholic made this request. So this is what he proposes as code. And so can you. 
fix the import daytime, remove comment, out redundant, and so on. So what we'll do is show you how easy this is. And it's again a tutorial about how to work to with each other, right? How will we get code working if we're in a team? Collaborate is the technical term for that. And one of the things that we could do is say, let's make it Control C, Control V. We got melt, right? Remember? Um, is that correct? No, that's, yeah, that's correct. So the Glade Dev and the Glade Dev copy. So just making sure I have a copy. I'm going to say, OK, it's good. Um, I'll, I'll get it in. But first we have a look. So in here are the commits. Update Arclinks application glide. Verified. It says some things. It's open. It says there's no problem. Merge pull request. That's what I'll push in the very end. But first you have a look and say, OK, so this code, what is his suggestion? His suggestion is from daytime import daytime. We can keep the import as daytime from daytime. Just change to reflect in line 638. And then we have a launch time. These were all things. We, well, we, we try to figure out, hey, what is the code? Put it in a variable and then we use later on launch time. So they say, OK, instead of going to the function page, right, the Python file, we'll just say now date now because we've imported and he explained it very well in his video that there are modules, class and functions. So since we've now imported the module, we can actually say just give me this one and then the class and then the function give me the now. So that's in here. Uh, so that's OK, looks OK. And then we go back or you can go to next here, both of them. And that's the other bit, date now, daytime. So if you have ideas, if you say I want to work together with these guys and learn more and, and put, have some input or something or you want to add some things to the project, all good. This is how you can do it, and I'll show you. So merge pull request. Update Arclinx application glide. The name comes from here. Confirm merge. Now we're polite, and we say thank you for your time. It is merged. Right? And that's it. And it's gone. It's no longer open. The pull request is now closed. And so we do it for a lot of tools. Now we say, OK, here's the project. And then you make an account. Well, if you become a part of the team, right, you you get an account and you get access. But if you're not part of the team and just want to say, hey, a hyphen there, a comma there, a typo here, stuff like that, then you just say pull request. Well. There's, it's another name, request merge or something. You'll find it, sure enough. So that means, that's very important for you to know, that means that the change is in here, online. It's not local. I don't have it. This changed. These lines, these lines, OK? Which means I need to go down here. And if I do a git pull or if I push online, it's the same thing for me because of the scripts. But basically, we do a git pull. We get the code from the internet. And then you see problems because I've probably changed a lot of things already. And what's the solution? A very simple solution indeed. So this one is a copy of that one. Agreed? Agreed. So I just delete this one. How can you do that, Eric? I have a copy. It's there. And I have a little script that says, go grab everything. And I'm smart enough to have the same workflow always. So app, app dev, app glade, app glade dev. Tell the system, go get it. So not that one, but this one. Whoa. Get everything. And everything, all the things he says, fatal, 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 it already exists. 
That's good. I know that it already exists. But here it is. He fetched the latest code for me from online. And then we go back. This one, that one. Sorry, that one, that one. Compare. And then again, we can have a look and say, OK, what changed? And we evaluate again. So from daytime import daytime, we can keep the just change the reflect in 631. So I know this now. So this can go 638. We can have a quick look. 638. Well, the numbers are probably have changed already. So this bit, 643. So the text can go for now. So this one is the actual one. Yes. And that's the copy. So see where you are changing the copy. I will just remove later on. Eh? So this one is text. Not needed now as this was an old logging method. So launch time, control find. That was here, create actions log. But we've seen that we have another way of doing things and it's not yet in. It's not yet in, I don't think it is in yet. So we'll check, right? We'll, we'll make sure that the new code is in here, but we'll check. So yes, I agree, which means we don't need it. If we don't need it, we don't keep it. Okay. So this is gone. And then we go down, we go down, we go down, we go down and we say, okay. And the rest is print Eric. This is something I did to know if something is, is working or not. If I can, if it actually is inside a function, you just print something and then, you know, ah, when I do this, Eric happens, right? Your name is something you recognize anywhere. A lot of code, you'll see it. Find time and date, which is a oh, good. Fix below for import daytime from daytime. So this is that needs to go. That's commentary. That's good. Once we know, we know, and then, okay, save. So the merger is gone, but there's still more things to do. That's one thing. This one can go. When will you delete it? When you've tested it. Oh, so used to typing, typing that sentence. So launch time is still in there somewhere. App Glade, let's have a look. So now it's time to ask the code. And let's put the code, let's put you in number six. Six. No, gone. <laughs> code. Ah, oh, it's gone. Or is it the other page somewhere? Ah, oh, it's here. Okay. You can go. This one. We're gonna use that one then. So this seems to be okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Again, open up. So this is not okay. Probably maybe with the copy paste. Let's see. Let's see. Control super shift D and then code. And what I'll do now is make sure that this thing is loaded up again. Can I close this thing? Save workspace. No. Close folder. Maybe file. Open workspace, no. Add fault workspace, sure. Arco, Linux, App Dev Glade, this one, not the other one. And that was unsuccessful. Why? Let's do open folder then. The Glade one. Uh, 2, 1, 
to save your workspace configuration file. Don't save. I'll do that now. Save workspace S. InSync has everything for me, this one. Replace. That takes a long time. <laughs> Why are these things happening when I'm recording? All right. Ah, okay, cancel. So, share, I'm going to upgrade, I'm going to upgrade. Do we have now the merger? Because we still have the launch time here. Is that the way it was here? So, user, da -da -da -da, share, and that one, that one. So we need to still throw all these out and the code that we have, the code that we have is, is it documented? Can I have a look at it? I think I can. So in the videos, you'll see one, two, three, four videos of drunken alcoholics. So now I need to incorporate that particular code inside my system did he add i think he did give me code my god right i got already so many packages files that i can grab it from python glade from this i think this is the last one no i don't think so this might be the last one let's see so here we have him using a variable so capital letters is a variable and then you say this will become the variable that's one of the things he did and the logging is different in here and here we've changed now the date and the time it's now a little bit different. So we need to basically change these things into what we can use as a no example. Here, logging info. Yeah. So this is a function that creates a file somewhere. The other logging does exactly the same thing. So hence his suggestion, uh, this is double, right? Choose, or you take yours, or you take the official logging thing. And yeah, if it exists, if the module is there to log, why not use logging? And clean up the code. So that's basically the exercise of now, clean up the code. Okay. So down here, let's do that bit. Down here, we say the handler for the log file handler is, is the, the file we're going to create is Erklings app and it's going to be that as in naming and dot log. Everything goes in here, but also everything gets shown on our terminal. And this we've changed already. Let's have a look. Yeah, so here we have made some changes already. My choice was to have no microseconds. So seconds, okay, cool. Comma, 301, uh, no, seconds is enough. And uh, so hence the format system there. So for the rest, I don't see any differences. Maybe it's a good time to do a split left, split right. So you see a bit that this is possible as well and see if there are changes in here down here um, can we make this that's bigger and smaller so this is control min minus and control plus 
and whether we like it, well, it's the same or not. We now investigate. Uh, this one is ours. Watch out because this one, that one, here's another one. Mm, that's better. So this right one is ours. So if we made some decisions here and then we can integrate his idea with my idea and done. So the logging, basically what I think is best we do is the logging, logging warning, logging debug at the top, I believe I've made you aware of the functionality of logging somewhere. Let's do control find logging at the top and one more. I did type it, so I've, I've lost it somewhere. There's info, warning, debug, and something else. Four, I think. So here's the info. These are all good. And here's another logo info. And from here, we need to delete things. If I see that correctly. So either. No, there is no either. There's no need for the now. The now is in there. So we delete this line and we could make the print into login.info. The structure is like this. Yeah, login with a G would be better. But you see login info is there already. So it's double. So we clean up. That's the video. We clean up. Now this one does not seem to have logging. So here we're gonna print login.info. Oh, I keep typing the same thing with a G. Login.info. So we know now what to do. This one can go. Let's do it like that. Control plus 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 plus. Much better. What we best do is something like, where are you guys? Here, control find. I need to change 26 things. So I don't mind if you now just slide over <laughs> 15 minutes or so of the video, but I want to share all of the work so you know it's not, yeah. One, two, three, done. Huh? So this one, logging sure we can do this as well logging all oh, logging info now I'm gonna copy paste it because otherwise I'll type type it wrong all the time control C right launch time we don't need what are you gonna log you're gonna log this whoops this and not sure if we need all that we'll just investigate later time will be there already so app started is good enough app started and there's nothing to share for the rest and this will all do with the other 25 so you can skip ahead save Is there a fast way to do this? That's the first thing <laughs> that comes to mind. Control V. Package version is package version. package release is package release what we do in the package build 
is change the word package release and change the package version. So you know, it's uh, 230504, right? That's what we do. In the package build, we do that. Okay. Logging info. I can also take the print info up there. Maybe I will next time to show. You have to find the easiest way to get the job done. The, 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 the way of least effort. I think deleting this and changing print in true logging info is easier. Safe. Feels quicker, right? And then you realize, okay, maybe I can do the prints and delete the other ones. So here's another print. I did not see that coming, but let's take the, the big chunks first. So here we say this gone and then we do this and that and that and that and that's it. And this can go. What else? Here we have a print. So we're going to use the print that we're going to replace, which is easy, but get rid of the info. Safe. Yeah, programming is a bit of work, right? And I do have the same ambition as drunk on alcoholic. The code needs to be clear, concise, efficient, right? There's no other way. There's no spaghetti code. I'm not really thinking about the GFA basic, I think it was called when I was oy, 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 oy. 35 years younger, 40 years younger. Then we had this spaghetti code where you can say go to line 10 and then go jump to line 50 and then go back to line 30. And it was all good. Those were the days. This one. Basic. What was it called again? GFA basic, yes. But there was another one from Scheidegger Institute or something. We're a generation that's started off with a personal computer. Yeah. A computer, what's that? Now I'm doing the prints already. It's okay. We walk through the code again and again and again. That's your job. Read the code, change the code. Eat code, sleep with the code. <laughs> and then you wake up, I have the solution. And you go back to the computer, middle of the night hours we spent Brad and me on the Arsenal Street tool middle of the night he got an idea here on my laptop big screen Skype <laughs> here in Australia and code we did fun times voila oh, they keep coming It's important to log things, to tell users things. Okay, this is going on, that's going on. There's another operating system that is a complete black box. We don't be want to be compared with that one. C 
safe. Not yet finished. Okay. This time I'm gonna do a control H. A lot of things together here. Change that, change that, change that, change that, change that, change that, change that. Whoa, go back. And now we're gonna change these. This is actually also something that comes back, so control H again and replace it with nothing. True? Let's try one. can easily go wrong but if there are a few together why not why is this red because of that now my text is gone I suppose no it's not Oof. let's go again all right this one that one needs to go this one safe go on Just got the idea. Maybe we should put the logging info at the top as a rule. There's no specific reason why, as my rule. So we know immediately we're in that definition. So if you click here on Arco key mirror, click remove, you immediately see it. It's there. It's in that definition. That's the only advantage. And then we get some kind of structure, some the brain is happy with structure. Say that first, then that, then that's that's log logical or not. That's a long text. Whoa, 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 what's this here? What's this? What happened here? Doubles. I did something wrong here. Okay. something wrong in my copy paste nah this is good right save so let's grab it again control C oh control C this one goes print 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 yes sure print but like this without this I can only recommend you use some kind of styling there is I think pep 8 it's called I'm personally using black so it rearranges the styling the the format and it makes this automatically underneath each other rather than this long line it's just going to I don't have to think about it it does it automatically at this point in time find path I don't care so gone here's just nothing here we have the print path so I'm, I'm experimenting I got some tips so we'll try the tips out from drunk and alcoholic so here we have control find and then control v so all the prints will become logging info logging info logging info true logging info logging info logging info 
Login Info, Login Info. Uh, ja, das make any problem. Eh? No, why would it be a problem? We just say printed, and then that and that and that and that. Cell of choice, short will work. Git clone, print error, print this, print that, print this, print that. Print, 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 and we're done. So let's go and look for the ones that we were looking for earlier on, the launch time. There it is. So we're not done yet. <sighs> no, we're not. But we can delete all that in one go. That's already something. How many do we have left? Oh, that was it. That was the last one. Safe. Are you sure? So we're, here we're going to say to the, the module, is it? The module, yeah, module logging. We're going to say that the function basic configuration is going to be level this and that and that and that and that and that. Here we're going to say we're starting the application and all of it goes to the main at the top. He runs main. Let's read everything again. Time of the video, 36 minutes. So we check what we've done. So logging info, logging info. Not sure if we need this still. That's for later, right? Let's keep to the job at hand. That is looking for the prints and the logging info. That's, that's gone a little bit more concise. Because this gives you information as a programmer. Launching the build script. So after that, I know I'll, I'll be here. He'll be saying, I'm going to either use Alacrity hold or no hold. And then off it goes running the command. And that's why we do it also, right? Knowing where is the application at this point in time. And from time to time, we type print Eric. And then we know uh, it just gets there. And then it crashes or it stops or unresponsive or whatever happens and you need to figure it out why I don't see anything for now except that the now things everything is here dark which means it's not used right this is not used it's dark if I say here now maybe a good example plus now no though no it's, is it is now changed I don't really see it but then it's used and if it's used it'll change the colors i think it was changed just not really yeah it's changed in color okay saw it happening safe can we test this is this working überhaupt Poof. well first off Where's my text, right? Where's my text? There is nothing there. So let's uh, do an, something not so okay. Apply best servers. Okay, the logging works. The package telegrid is already installed. Nothing to do. Applying this command. And that's done. Now I do think we need to investigate the code because this one should... Oh, no, no. It's okay. No, my apologies. It's okay. We are good. This is just the pages. It's not that it's active. It's this one is active. And now it's unactive. Active, unactive, active. We do something. We wait for it. Let's have a look. Logging. Scripts, fix key, applying this command. So what we definitely need to have a look at, we had a beginning logging. No? We did do something in the beginning 
I'm waiting for this to end because it's important that the keys are all in their place and that Pac-Man is fine. Pac-Man is fine. So what do we have now? We start our tool. Oh yeah, I remember him saying something in the video about the logging. He made a definition, if I remember correctly. So we have here a handler. And we want to send this to the people. Starting application is not registered i see but it doesn't throw a mistake either so it doesn't say logging info Ooh. It doesn't say i'm starting application and how was that because of timing but i don't really see it I remember it being in the video, number four, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. So let's investigate and learn in that video. So I've got on my second screen the video open. That's 04 Glade GUI. And while he's explaining everything, which will not uh, play out loud, I'm gonna check the code that we have, he has. And in the meantime, also a little bit explain why we're doing things the way we're doing things so import logging is one thing the beginning has a in my case a sort imports so that means that i have an extension that's gonna sort microsoft is there import organization support for python and he just says the right order i trust that's gonna be correct there was issues i remember in the arch link suite tool where it really mattered which one got first so if applications get complex or then you have um, you could have issues the gtk require thingy is there 3.0 and then we have this and it's behind here that it says you know what if you want to have a constant constant values so a value that is uh, used everywhere, basically, constant value. We will use what he's saying, will you use in our code? So constant values is enough. And he's gonna use the GUI, which is in this, in our case, an, an example, right? Because we only use it once. But if you would use something more than once, then it should be your reflex to say, okay, fine, I'll make a change what well, i haven't tested yet and we should test it as well that the extension is uh, also ui that's probably also going to work so well i haven't tested it yet so this is, is a reason why you could say i'm going to change here glade into ui and then everywhere here it's going to be changed as well so one place to change and 20 places are okay that's a reason to have a constant variable or a variable. Now that's the GUI Glade. And then he thought about the logging format as well. So there's sometimes maybe no reason to do things, but it's also an educational video, right? That's why we make these things in here where maybe you think if you're a seasoned programmer, you think, what are they doing, right? And this is better copy pasted, I see already, because this is not gonna work. So the logging format is at the bottom. This is the logging format. Control C, let's keep it there. And the logging format is decided up here. And if you wanna change it, and you're using it all the time, this logging format then you can use it so that's correct what's in the video i think it is so logging format format is now a variable all the way down and we don't use this one anymore we use 
a variable save so that's the second thing he did and then the log file is another idea I say okay look let's create another uh, value on a, a constant uh, value log file equals and then I better grab this again here somewhere so this thing this whole thing I think like so is gonna be that check although not that one right because this one has a, a tilt as a line underneath it which means eh, I don't get it that's the, the message here and Arkin looks up and I have to magnify his code which says Arkinlex app let's see we need to get rid of a lot of stuff and the reasoning behind it is as follows you take Arkinlex app then something and the something is a bit peculiar I don't know what it is called in English but this thing I have to take that one uno segundo all right let's continue with the project and we were gonna type that the log file was the log file is <laughs> at the beginning so a bit earlier there he is so on my second screen I'm, I have this video open so in between these to let's call them brackets right we have a format that we're gonna put in there a format of the date time dot give me the now and we ask him that plus go and make it just google the town of time right look it up and in here we're gonna say what we definitely want is the logging format so logging format is one line up and there it is so we'll get year month day hour month and seconds and we save I'll check again for any errors in typing which is okay and in this video number four we'll just go ahead and scroll further so the GUI, the logging format here is used here. The log file, control F, is used at the bottom and was called away. So I think it's gonna be here in the handlers, if I'm not mistaken, that we have this. Oops, that's something else. <laughs> um, at the top log file why did not grab it control c thank you and then go back handler i think it's gonna be here no it's not gonna be here it's i think in between here but let's look at the video where we put it and the bottom at the bottom at the bottom we got this logging debug time logging format that's done yes it's in between this of course as i thought it's gonna be here so he wants to know where are we going to put this yes check control v logging file handler there and then save logging stream handler so two ways to handle the logs one to the file one to the terminal and this is how we format things ps uh -huh. okay so i'm continue with the video here without any sound preferably <laughs> no sound 
And what else did he change in number four? I find this also a good idea to, at the top, go for here, class main. And then we're gonna create some extra definitions. We'll see what we do with this later on. But in itself, we can actually set up an initialization. I'll just type what he types. So you recognize when you see his video, recognize my code and everything comes, comes together, falls together. In initialization for logging and GUI, which makes this a little bit logging. I keep doing it, logging. Right, that. And he is going to make an extra definition. Whoa, what's that? Self dot setup logging. And everything is here with a bracket in the end. And it's gonna say also, and for the GUI, we're gonna do this thing. And then we have two new divisions. Uh, divisions, the definitions we should create. Okay. So the first definition, if we point to something, we should make it, definitely. So def setup underscore GUI is what it starts with, self. In the end, there is this red thing, meaning close it. And now we go on. And in here we have, we start with logging. Well, our code is a little bit more complex. We have a splash screen and all that. So set up GUI is basically these things. I, I don't know what where to put these, but it starts here. This is, the, there's different code, of course. We have different code. Hey, what's happening? Delete, ah, okay. His projects and our projects are a bit bigger. So a few more lines, but the reasoning is the same. Set up GUI. We're gonna log the info. That's something extra he did. So he's gonna say here, this particular thing, what we're doing is we're logging information. And we tell to the user here, we are building the GUI from the late file and later on we'll see if the ui extension is going to work as well save it's still a glade file as an extension and yeah so this is different this bit so maybe we should make a line so this is our splash screen thing then we're going to connect the signals we have that in common there is no difference there and then we're going to create a main window logging create main window or as he says which is the same thing but as i said we try to be educational so let's keep typing the same things referencing the gtk window and then this one h window and you find that particular thing in Glade in the ID. That's the important field. It's the first tab. When you see to the right, the first tab, that's the ID. H window, no typos. So this is where we reference it. This is the delete event, main quit, and all the rest is the same. Save. There is still the setup logging that we should do. So after the setup GUI, he's gonna create the logging bit def setup logging and then self enter and here we're going to do the handlers it seems so that means that the bottom bit that we have here we're just making the decision to remove it from the main where everything starts and we say 
maybe we should get that code in where we talk about the logging save so this needs this will not work because at this point in time when it runs it doesn't get it it doesn't know what logging info is but that can be solved so at the top at the top at the top at the top so it's always about timing be a computer and know where it's gonna go and then and, and how it's gonna change things so this one needs to go one more save one deeper why do you have login with two g's eric any reason no i know why i forgot again the g <laughs> it is consistent right my brain it is consistent if we're gonna make a typo let's make it all the time in the video yes thank you very much so for the rest it's the same or not handlers we did the handlers we have the log file there login stream check 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 we have a level name and then messages and long format and the debug is there handlers okay now we move on this is 1.22 in video 4 what i'm looking at and we just keep on going I still need a bit at the bottom now it's all about combo boxes i'll do that later i need to have a look at the code at the bottom and no ah, there's the code at the bottom at 5.45 we get this and we stop doing this here that is very minimal right this is clean if name main go say the class if i'm correct the class goes in a variable and it launches the variable gdk main goes up to the class and now it goes save now mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. looking at this code the other bits and pieces we need to figure out because it's a little bit more complex in this thing on file set and all that cb iso changed and that's something we do in another video okay i think most of it is in there oops i've closed it okay then we test it what errors do we have so we have here lots of things to do lots of things to do no such file file not found open function base file self mode log file problem self open file main Blah. right Blah. what a lot of work what's going on now let's maybe a time is already 58 minutes so the major bulk of the work is done now we're gonna sift through all the things that are not used and one of those things is this thing that's not needed anymore so actually if i do a find ooh, a lot of references right and all of them are not used they're not can i change it with i think i can with nothing and if i save it oh beautiful right and black says hey there's a line in between there click 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 save all checked now i'm gonna see if there is a now word somewhere that's not referenced only this thing there are only two nows anymore this probably can be changed as well but later what we'll do in the video and then we'll call it a day or a night right it's quite late already 
So this extension is a glade. Now if you don't have, if we have all these errors, there's not much I can show you. But if we have Control C and Control V, and I call this one user interface, and I double click it, yep, okay, and I say right mouse click open with and it doesn't get it. Open with another application, delete. Hey, don't tell me. <laughs> I've been cleaning up my computer. Sudo pacman minus s delete. Yep. <laughs> Somehow it got removed as a dependency of. From time to time you have to do that, right? Clean up. And he gets it. So if that gets it, I'm pretty sure the other one will get it too. But like I said, we'll test it out in a later time. But you know already, Glade gets it. So I only need to figure out all the error codes that I had that you see here, that you saw here. And that'll be that. But that's for another time when it is not this late. All right? Cheers.